Welcome to this video on Oracle Private Cloud Appliance. In this video, you will learn to create a file system on Oracle Private Cloud Appliance. The file storage service provides scalable and secure shared network file systems. The file storage service encrypts all file systems and snapshot data at rest. You can mount a file storage service file system on any compute instance in your virtual cloud network. A typical use case is the mounting of an exported file system from an NFS client within the local network to any compute instance running on Oracle Private Cloud Appliance. So let's begin. I've already installed the OCI CLI, so please refer to the video, Configure the OCI CLI. In addition, a mount target must be created before creating a file system, so please refer to the video, Managing Mount Targets on Oracle Private Cloud Appliance. Let's now create a file system from the command line. Run the command OCI FS file dash system create dash dash availability dash domain the availability domain dash dash compartment dash ID the compartment ID dash dash display name followed by the new name of the file system in this case my dash FS dash zero one. As a result from running this command, a new file system called my-fs-01 was created. Let's verify that the command ran successfully by listing the file system. From the command line, run the command OCI FS file dash system list dash dash availability dash domain followed by the availability domain name dash dash compartment dash ID followed by the compartment ID. The results from running the command shows that the file system named my-fs-01 was created successfully. You can also update the file system name by using the following command OCI FS file dash system update dash dash file dash system dash ID followed by the OSID of the file system dash dash display dash name followed by the new name of the file system in this case, my-fs-02. Let's turn to the web GUI and see if the name change was successful. From the navigation menu, click on File Storage, then File Systems. As you can see, the file system's name changed to my-fs-02 successfully. Next, we'll create an export for the file system. Exports control how NFS clients access file systems when they connect to a mount target. A file system must have at least one export and one mount target for instances to mount the file system. From the file system profile, click the Create Export button. Select the mount target, in this case my-mt-01. For the source CIDR, Use 10.0.0.0/29, which is a smaller network and should be used first so an error does not occur. Click the Create Export button. After a few moments, the file system export is created. Looking at the details, the export path is used to mount the file system on an instance, for example. Let's take a look at the access details for the NFS export options. And finally, as you can see, the export CIDR block, its access has read and write access when mounted by users, and the squash setting, which determines whether the clients accessing the file system as root have their user ID and group ID remapped to the squash user ID and group ID. In this example, the squash setting is set to none. We now have a file system that can be mounted by compute clients. For more information, please check our additional information on Oracle Private Cloud Appliance documentation or in the Oracle Private Cloud Appliance Learning Library. This concludes the video. Thanks for watching.